once your students have logged in with the correct credentials to log into the computer and there was an email sent out with instructions on how to do this they can get into the computer and their desktop should look like this now I am still seeing cards that are coming in with the decimal point missing with the birth dates written incorrectly and that is taking up an inordinate amount of time to have to look up their credential information so please remember that it is a student number on the top box their initials point birth date and it is a six digit birth date on the bottom box so they're in and the first thing we need to do is change the default browser now the computers were re-imaged and set to Safari so you'll need to type in Chrome and you'll see it here and you just drag it to the dock which I've already done you'll see it right here on the dock and then the next thing you'll do is open up Chrome and you'll see three dots here go down to settings another way to get to settings is to go to Chrome go to preferences you see the same thing and you go to uh, make default now it says that Chrome is your default browser because I've already done that but most of you will say uh, will see that it will ask you do you want to make Chrome your default browser and you do say yes and you're going to click right here and then you should see this uh, message that Chrome is your default browser so now we have Chrome ready to go and uh, we have ClassLink and another site that APS puts on there and we want to put our Helen Cadero site so I'll click on Chrome type in helencadero.aps.edu click on resources and over here on the left websites for kids once that comes up you go right up here to the end the front end of the location bar and drag off the location itself as a shortcut and I like to go up here and sort by kind so that it stays sorted now you can make a picture for this I usually use a turtle and I do that by screenshotting the turtle with shift command 4 all those buttons will create this and take a picture of it and then I open up that picture edit copy the picture and then go to the location and get info or command I and then I can stick that picture which is in the memory on there now I've got a nice little turtle for the kids to click on and I can get rid of that so here we see Helen Cadero and the children can click on it and there's a variety of activities for them to do while you set up their class link so and this whole iReady is a whole nother process we won't talk about right now <music>after adding the Helen Cordero website shortcut or web location to your individual student desktops after they've logged in with their credentials you will go to their cloud or class link and uh, depending on the age of the student they can do this themselves but I highly recommend that it be supervised because if you are asking the computer to memorize this child's information it has to be typed in exactly because if you ask it to memorize something that is not exact it is very laborious to go back through and take out the incorrect password and reinstall the correct one sometimes it takes three or four attempts at it using the Chrome password preferences so it has to be done very carefully and very slowly so this student's login is of course the same thing we used when we were logging into the computer which is their student number on the top and I'm double checking it with my information to make sure it is exact because it's so important to get this done 
the correct way. And then their password is their first initial of their first name and their first initial of their last name, period. And um, then it is their birth date, and it's a six-digit birth date. It is the month, the day, and the year. Now I take um, this off so that all these dots are showing because if you don't then it is going to save the password just partially. Trust me I've been through this. And then APS and that has to be used as your code and then sign the child in and ask the computer, see there's the dots, the correct dots, to save it and say no to this, we don't really need that. Then log out the student and log out of Chrome and we can check it this way to make sure that it will work. There it is and they always have to use APS. That is not memorized by um, the computer preferences, password preferences and it should just pop up and there's iStation and here we see iReady and that is a whole nother video trust me and I'm going to actually restart this computer and see if it will log into ClassLink just like we did just now. Now we are going to check again to see if the ClassLink password um, saving worked even after turning off the computer and starting it again. So I'm going to click on their ClassLink Cloud and hopefully it saved it. Yes, there it is. And once again, you need to remind your students and train them to type APS as the code every single time they're in that cloud. And there is their apps ready to go. So that was successful. And the next activity will be to make sure that their iStation and iReady are working and that will be another video. <laughs>
click on I ready and then we will type in the student's initials. And this is different. It's, it's similar, so don't get confused. It's different than the cloud and computer login. And it's a hyphen instead of a period. And then it is their student number. And then everybody's password. And I mean everybody's password for iReady is student. S-T-U-D-E-N-T. -E this should say New Mexico. Please check that because sometimes it won't when you're initially setting it up and go. Choose a subject. Now it wants me to save the password so you should say save. You definitely want to save it. And then don't log, log out. Log out. Well you could log out and I'll show you what to do next. Now it appears that it hasn't saved the password and the username but if you hover the arrow and click, there it is. So once this lights up blue, you go down here and click on that. Same thing with the password. It'll automatically, and you have to train the kids to do this, how to hover and click to bring it up. Now there's a way to do this on the class link. And there Choose we are. a subject. There's a way to do it here as far as I ready. Oops, sorry about that. And um, it's a lot more complex, and that will take place in another video. And here's where iReady is. And we can make this one click where all the child has to do is click on it, and they're immediately taken to that program. But that will be a, another video. This is a quick video on the logout process and it's a little important because if you skip the last step then you're going to end up having all kinds of open windows when the child logs in again. So what they need to do is whatever game that they're on, uh, they need to log out of it or what I call red dot out. Like say they're on ST Math. See this needs Flash Player and that's a whole other lesson. So make sure that they red dot out, then they go up here to the black apple. So I tell them red dot black apple, red dot black apple, I mean over and over again until they remember to red dot, then black apple, and they go down to their name, log out Santiago. So that seems simple enough, but this is going to pop up, and a lot of them are going to show this reopen windows. Now you don't want that because sometimes they'll have 5, 10, 20 windows open by mistake and so the next time that child logs in they're all going to pop up. So unclick that. Have the child unclick it. You unclick it and then you will log out and that will take uh, the child out and leave the computer ready for the next child.